we just didn't think there'd be anything here and it turns out it's like one of the best places we've ever been to in the world. It's ridiculously beautiful. Adam's really pleased with himself because he's made a selfie stick out of a stick for his camera and he's just carrying it around. He's like a dog with a stick. <laughs> Welcome back to To Get Lost. Last time we showed you the ups and downs of boat life, when we had a tricky sail over to Pilos, some more anchoring problems, and found the most beautiful view from a hilltop castle. What's going on, Emily? for a bit we've been looking at where we're going to spend the winter and what we're going to do and how many jobs we've got to do on the boat so I'm freaking out a bit so we're going for a walk instead strong plan <laughs> so we can forget about it and enjoy this it's so where does this come from so casually beautiful everywhere here yeah. this is like we don't really know what this is but it's like a salt flat or something like a industrial facility we're not really sure it's not really the sea, but it's, it's not the sea. Like After a little research, we found out some fascinating facts about Pilos. The Battle of Navarino was fought in the bay in 1827 during the Greek War of Independence. The Greeks were victorious, making Greek independence much more likely. It was the last naval battle to be fought entirely by sailing ships, but we're pleased to say history did not repeat itself while we were there. It's Emily Nancolis' view of cruising the French canals. Just visiting all the wineries. <laughs> I'm like, imagine the culture! And Emily's like, imagine the wine! <laughs> I think you'd just go from one town to another and drink the wine, wouldn't you? Isn't that...? Not as pretty as me. It's rubbish here. It's rubbish here. Can we go back to England? I miss London. Said nobody ever. What are we going to do now? Walk up there. Walk up to the top of this massive cliff. Go find the sunset. Yeah, but check out that payoff. Sunset. Oh, you can't really see it. Sunset is very pretty. Over there, somewhere. And we've had a really good day, just like yesterday. Done lots of exploring. What happened last night, Adam? Oh, it was amazing. We went swimming in the bioluminescent algae. It's it so like cool. swimming with fireflies. Uh, underneath a whole sky of stars. Oh, it was pretty awesome. And then we settled down, we watched the end of a film, and just as the film was ending, in the distance there was fireworks. And usually I miss the fireworks, don't I? But I didn't, I saw them. Emily really only recently learnt that sound travels slower than light. Adam <laughs> didn't. <laughs> I knew that but I've just never seen fireworks that far away that you can hear them banging like a really long time after they've... no the other way around. No that way around. <laughs> Whatever. I know that. 
Yeah, Don't of... look at me like that, like I'm stupid. <laughs> not looking at you like you're stupid. Looking at you like you're cute. No, he's like cute in the you don't. <laughs> Adam, they're nice. <laughs> Pretty Join us cool. later for our first big fight. For our first domestic. himself because he's made a selfie stick out of a stick for his camera and he's just carrying it around. He's like a dog with a stick. I've got to say this might be one of my best ever inventions. I'm gonna get a lot of strange looks. He wants me to come with him but he's just talking to himself with a stick over his shoulder. I think I'm gonna just walk several meters back from him. Emily thinks I'm an idiot for making this selfie stick. She's recording a video about how stupid I am. Look, watch this. <laughs> it's an actual stick. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a lovely photo if only he didn't have that stick in his hand? We'll see who has the last laugh. This will be some glorious footage of the back of my head. Can you see her over there? Look at her! Laughing at us from the bushes like some sort of creepy. So, we've had the best few days here exploring at uh, Pilos. It's just stunning. We just didn't think there'd be anything here and it turns out it's like one of the best places we've ever been to in the world. It's ridiculously beautiful. <laughs> there's this amazing castle on top of a hill, there's this really beautiful beach. There's loads of really beautiful beaches. There's cliffs, there's snorkelling, there's loads of hikes up to high places. And the boat's not moving. <laughs> Touch <laughs> so wood. Like, I am literally touching wood. Everything is perfect. Pretty damn nice. Except for out there. The castle's over there, behind us. Please point to the castle, oh. thank you. I just got spiked. <laughs> There's an incredible beach over there somewhere. Amazing beach. And then there's a gorgeous sunset as well. It's paradise. It really is paradise. Welcome to night fishing with Emily Nan Corliss. Emily is fishing. It is night time. Emily has not caught a fish. Look at the needlefish. A common tactic when catching fish is to actually catch them. <laughs> I am trying. Emily explains her technique. I am trying. <laughs> trying really hard. Something ate it. So something... something has eaten Emily's bit. There's something biting down there. Something has bitten Emily down there. <laughs> it's very serious. Emily is trying to be serious. I'm going to catch us dinner to for tomorrow. Emily is going to catch us a plastic bag. <laughs> You're putting the fish off. I'm going to blame you if I don't catch anything. Emily is blaming everyone but herself. <laughs> <gasps> Big fish there. Right. Oh my god, it's true, there are fish. What's here, bream or something? 
It looks like a bream, I think. All right, I'll actually stop scaring them then. Unfortunately, Adam scared all the fish away, so I didn't manage to catch one. We woke early and motored the 40 minutes to the other side of the bay so we could explore the town and make use of the chandlery to pick up some much needed equipment for the boat. We'd started to put some serious thought into buying a new anchor and we needed a new macerator after ours gave up. When you own a boat, trips to the chandlery become way more exciting than they have any right to be. Okay, only, only, only when be Jewish. I forgot your name, by the way. Mantis. Mantis. No, your name. Eh? Fotis. 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 You boy. Mandus. This is Fortis, he's a legend. <laughs> yeah. A legend. Nippon. Legend. Mandus. Mandus. 20 kilos. For storm anchor. anchor. Storm. Yeah. Storm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Listen. The price. We need 25 kilos. Okay. 20 kilos 60. 25 85. Uh -huh. Expensive. Okay. 29 1050. Euros. Yeah, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Expensive, you know, eh? Yeah. Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> this guy's a legend. He's so helpful and so nice. And, and yes, yes, he gives. Yeah. He gave us some oil. Oil, oil, Together, together. How cool is this? <laughs> together. And you make this olive oil. Yes, yes. Yeah. No, no, thank you. He's thank living you. the dream. He's got yeah. an olive oil farm. For the winter time. For the winter time. Yeah, yeah. yes. <laughs> legend. So cool. Yeah. Legend. You want to carry the body? Sir, it's an electric. Eh? Similar but electric. It's like no, no electric. No hand. It's like it's like this. My friend. It's like this. Ah, pump. Yeah, oh, the toilet, yes, just yes, for the yes. toilet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> the translation in Greek is... Yeah, look at that. Yeah, but this is for water, isn't it? No for water. Oh, it's a macerator. For yeah. Yeah. Macerator. Yeah. Macerator. 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 Yes, macerator. Open yeah. you. Open yeah. you. <laughs> macerator. This is what we need. Yes. 12 volts, yeah? Yes. 12 volt, 24 volt. Both. Yes, both. That's what we need. A poop pump. A poop pump. That's lovely. Time. Maybe our forward cabin won't smell of poo all the time. Would be lovely. Yeah, that's the guy. So now let's find out how much how much the damage is. Yeah? Or the big one. Do I need the big one? Oh, that Ooh, would... Oh, look at him. It's good, it's good. Yeah? Good, yes. Does that, do I catch a bigger chip? Yeah, no, listen. I have two hooks. Yeah. I Same. have two hooks, one hook. If you small fish, for one. Yeah. If you big fish, for all, you know. I will take both hooks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's a bigger yeah. fish that we know how to deal with. <laughs> that's <laughs> a big fish. Catch, like, yeah. a, we want to catch a small yeah. tuna. Yeah, yeah. More not, tuna, like, tuna. not like tuna. We okay, want like take tuna. Here. Yeah, that's yeah right. this one? Okay, take here. here. This one? Like that. Yeah? It's small. Do you guarantee we'll catch a tuna? <laughs> <laughs> Do we get our money back if we don't get a tuna? Alright, and. We'll so <laughs> catch a tuna. Can we Two. use this with yeah. a normal fishing line? Fishing line? But do we use a leader? Yes. Before, if you like, steel, steel. Yeah, should I? Yes, steel. Fifty liters. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, half meter, one meter. Yeah. Half meter, one meter. You look. One meter of that, yeah, and then yeah, crimp. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, after the line, line, line. A line after. Line. That. How far behind the boat? Uh, 40, 45 meter, fifty. No, meters. no 100. 100 very long, long. Yeah. Uh, no near 20 meters because uh, water for propeller. Okay. 40, 45, 50. Yeah, cool. <laughs> nice. Nice. So we'll All come right. back here when we've caught a tuna. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you. Listen, listen. You have to come I to our have, boat for dinner. I have one friend for, uh, from Czechia, Czechia. Every summer come two, three times. One times 100 kilo. <gasps> photo, photo. Oh. Yes. Four hours, four hours stopping the boat, fishing, fishing, fishing. Four fish, hours. Yeah, fish. Yes. It's, 
Uh, 100 kilos is very difficult. You know? Yeah. Uh, five kilos, ten kilos, it's enough. Yeah, that's what yeah. we want. Ten kilos, maximum. We want a small fish. Maximum. <laughs> yeah. So with this one hundred kilos. Yes. Oh. So this is good for a ten kilo, maybe. A ten kilos, uh, maybe. I hope, lucky, no lucky, no, no yeah. lucky, nothing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what the fish will catch. For fishing, lucky, lucky. Yeah. So just this. For play, for play, for cut. Yeah. You know, for money, yeah. lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Um, cool, so this and this. Yes. Anything else? Uh, line. We've got line. Line. We've got quite a line. Machine, machine or for hand? We're doing hand. For hand, for yeah. hand, yes. This is the bad boy that's going to catch us some tuna. <laughs> it's yeah. definitely going to happen. We asked our friends who caught tuna which lure they used, and he sent us a picture of this. And then we came in here yesterday and said, How do we catch a tuna? And he said, this lure. So we're going to go wild and pay 14 euros. It's my birthday present. For a lure, which is, I was going to say 14 times more than all the money we've ever spent on fishing. Actually, it's about double now, isn't it? Hey, we're all set. We're all set. All right. So now we just got to pay. No, <laughs> for What are we doing, Adam? Going for an actual beer in a glass out in a pub. I've done this for ages. Cheers. Look how big this beer is. Oh. I, don't think, I don't think I've ever had a pint of beer. We're in some random town. I have no idea what this place is called, do you? It's quite pretty. Pilos. Pilos. I think it's quite a big town. <laughs> it's, a bit, it's a bit bigger than places we're used to, to be honest. It's still very beautiful. Look at that sunset. Look at this beer. <laughs> More importantly, look at these crisps. <laughs> I feel really naughty right now. If I can even. Don't open it, don't ruin it. Okay. What have we bought? Oh my god, we've got amazing looking cakes. I was hankering for some custard. We found custard slices. I feel really naughty tonight. We've had wine and saganaki and now cake. To be fair though, we did say no to an extra drink. Yeah, no to, yes to the cake. Because we already ate a litre of wine. Oh we no, you can't wine, eat wine. Yeah. Oh yeah, you don't eat wine. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video then show us some love and like and subscribe below. Also check out our website in the link below to find out more about our adventures. Join us next time when we test out our new fishing lure on the relaxed sail over to Mathoni and spend some time exploring more castles in this pretty little town.